The story starts back in 2004, with 17-year-old Moon Dong Eun who is being ruthlessly bullied and tortured physically, mentally, and sexually by a group of her wealthy schoolmates that included Park Yeon Jin, John Jae Joon, Choi Hair Jong, Lee Sa Ra, and Sun Myung Oh. Despite her fear, Dong Eun courageously tries to file a police report, but Yeon Jin's mother uses her connections to cover up the incident. Unable to bear any more of the bullying, Dong Eun also applies to drop out of school, citing the group as the reason. However, her teacher, Jong Moon, beats her in front of other teachers for allegedly lying. All this adds to Dong Eun's trauma and feelings of helplessness. When Dong Eun does eventually drop out she vows to the group that they'll meet again. Over the next few years, she earns a high school equivalency diploma and enrolls in a university to study education. When we meet Dong Eun as an adult in the present, she is watching Yeon Jin, now a weather presenter, on television, surrounded by photographs of those who had wronged her. We see that after high school, Dong Eun has continued to follow the lives of her former bullies. She follows as Jae Joon inherits a country club and a top-end clothing boutique, both of which become successful businesses that attract high-class customers. However, despite his business success, Jae Joon is still forced to watch with fiery jealousy as Yeon Jin marries Ha Do Yong, the CEO of a large construction company, despite their secret affair. Dong Eun's life takes a turn when she meets a medical intern named Ju Yo Jong who teaches her the game of Go and quickly develops feelings for her. Not wasting any time, after graduating, Dong Eun immediately moves to Semyon and starts her revenge plan by meeting with Myung Oh, who, despite lusting for a grander power and money, is working as Jae Joon's lackey and Sa Ra's drug dealer. Dong Eun intrigues Myung Oh by offering potential information that Myung Oh can use to make money. One night, while searching through the bins at the House of Semyon Foundation's chairman, Dong Eun is confronted by the housekeeper, an older woman named Kong Hyun Nam, who offers to help Dong Eun with her revenge if she in return kills her abusive husband. Spotting another victim of abuse, Dong Eun hires Hyun Nam and instructs her to photograph and film the group. A surprisingly talented spy, Hyun Nam hands Dong Eun an abundance of information, including, intriguingly, that Yeon Jin's daughter Ye Sol is colorblind, a trait she shares with Jae Joon. Upon learning this, Dong Eun asks Myung Oh for Jae Joon's hair samples after sharing with him that she knows who killed Yoon So Hee, a former victim of the bullied. Myung Oh, shocked by this revelation, spots a potential avenue for blackmail and agrees to give her the samples. Well aware of the havoc that Dong Eun could wreak on her perfect facade, Yeon Jin is shaken to her core when she learns that her daughter's new homeroom teacher is none other than Dong Eun, a job that she got by blackmailing the Semyong Foundation's chairman and school district chairman. While meeting with Dong Eun, she learns that their former homeroom teacher, Jong Moon, has passed away. The timing leads Yeon Jin to chillingly question whether Dong Eun would resort to violence and murder in her revenge which sends her into a fit of anxiety. Meanwhile, without the knowledge of his wife, Do Yong, Yeon Jin's husband, finds himself intrigued and drawn to Dong Eun, with whom he has been playing the board game Go at the Go Club. Dong Eun continues to send Yeon Jin reeling, when she reveals that she knows about Ye Sol's color blindness, unable to bear the growing uneasiness. Yeon Jin hires a corrupt detective, named Yeon Jun to gather information on Dong Eun. Meanwhile, Hyun Nam continues to spy on the group and even goes as far as to steal Hair Jong's phone which gives Dong Eun a huge insight into Hair Jong's life and reveals her one-sided crush and obsession with Jae Joon. Not satisfied with simply holding on to her leverage, Dong Eun uses her knowledge of Sa Ra's drug abuse to blackmail her for cash. In one of her few soft moments, Dong Eun contacts Yo Jong after years of silence and apologizes for her treatment of him. After Yo Jong, who is still in love with her, cheekily suggests that he'd make a good partner. Dong Eun sincerely lets out her first happy laugh in the entire series. However, she tells him that she didn't need a prince, but an executioner who will help her with the fierce sword fight she is in. After their conversation, Yo Jong makes up his mind to open a private practice in Semyung to be closer to Dong Eun. Yeon Jin, on the other hand, can't get further away from Dong Eun, and even goes to see a shaman. Elsewhere, Do Young is over the moon that his dream to create the construction firm's Go Arena is finally materializing. However, as the days go by, Do Young receives a photo of him and Dong Eun at the convenience store, along with Myung Oh's card. When he goes to see Jae Joon about Myung Oh's disappearance, Do Young notices that Jae Joon smokes the same cigarettes as Yeon Jin, a detail that catches his attention. Dong Eun, after a panic PTSD episode triggered by the sound of meat barbecuing, ends up visiting Yo Jong's new home and trusts him with her entire story. Yo Jong listens patiently. Although he initially tries to discourage Dong Eun from devoting her life to revenge, after she shows him her scars, he agrees to be her executioner and ally in her battle for justice. We later learn that Yo Jong has a darkness of his own when we learn that he has been receiving threatening letters from his father's murderer who Yo Jong imagines killing with a knife. 
cracks start to form between Yeon Jin and Do Young who have started to suspect that his wife is hiding things from him. At the same time, Jae Joon is dealing with the revelation that Ye Sol is his biological daughter after learning that she is also colorblind. Hyun Nam gives Dong Eun proof that the men who tailed her were working for Yeon Jin. This adds to Dong Eun's theory that they killed Myung Mo on Yeon Jin's instruction. A theory that is strengthened when we finally learn that it was Yeon Jin who had killed So Hee. Do Young discovers Dong Eun's identity. Shocked and disturbed to learn about his wife's past, Do Young is forced to see her in a new light. When Do Young asks for Dong Eun's side of the story, she details her traumatic experiences at the hands of Yeon Jin and the group of bullies. Lost in her paranoia, Yeon Jin breaks into Dong Eun's apartment and discovers her wall of photographs which includes not only Yeon Jin but also other members of her group after which she realizes the extent to which Dong Eun has been following them, making her fall deeper into her anxiety and dread for what horrible fate lies in store for her at Dong Eun's hands. After learning about So Hee's murder's identity, Myung Oh tries to blackmail several people, including Dong Eun, Jae Joon, Sa Ra, and Hair Jong. However, as we learned earlier before, this would eventually lead to his violent death by one of the main characters, as tensions and anxiety mounts, the group of bullies begins to suspect that Yeon Jin was behind Myung Oh's disappearance and So Hee's death. When Yo Jong questions Yeon Jin under anesthetic, it is conclusively revealed that Yeon Jin did, in fact, kill Myung Oh by hitting him over the head with a bottle after he tried to blackmail her and potentially rape her. Yeon Jin enlists corrupt cop Yeon Jun's help to get rid of Myung Oh's body. However, behind her back, he keeps it as leverage at an abandoned funeral home that Yo Jong later buys. Dong Eun, not leaving anything to chance, hires Sun Hee's gangster friends to keep an eye on Hyun Nam, who has started working for Yeon Jin after being threatened recently. On the other side, Hair Jiang discovers a partial recording left behind by Myung Oh. The investigation continues to heat up as Dong Eun and Yo Jong find Myung Oh's dead body, and we as viewers learn that Yo Jong took DNA samples from Yeon Jin while she was at his clinic. With her revenge plot coming together, Dong Eun plans drugs at Sa Ra's father's church and sends an anonymous online letter to Yeon Jin, accusing her of school bullying. Things continue to spiral out of hand for the bullies, as Sa Ra's scandal makes headlines. Jae Joon discovers that Myung Oh's recording was made at his boutique, and Dong Eun tries to convince Kyung Run the mistreated boutique shop assistant who has the bottle that Yeon Jin used to kill Myung Oh, to help her prove Yeon Jin's guilt. Concurrently, Young Jun attempts to blackmail Yeon Jin with Myung Oh's body, but Dong Eun has already arranged for it to be discovered. Finding herself between a rock and a hard place, Yeon Jin tries to convince Jae Jun to provide her with an alibi for the day Myung Oh disappeared, to which he responds with an offer to withhold Myung Oh's recording from the police in exchange for Yeon Jin's divorce and custody of Ye Sol. The power shift arises among the characters when Yeon Jin fails to settle with Hyun Nam regarding Sok Jae's death, who instead responds by slapping and threatening her. Furthermore, when Do Young demands that Yeon Jin visit So Hee's mother to make amends and she refuses, he starts divorce proceedings, proving how far Yeon Jin has fallen from grace since Dong Eun returned to her life. As if Yeon Jin couldn't sink further down, Sa Ra, who holds a grudge against her after Yeon Jin spread rumors to save herself, uploads old video footage of her bullying So Hee, which forces her to leave her cushy job as a weather presenter. However, the most painful blow comes when Ye Sol rejects Yeon Jin, something which has been Yeon Jin's biggest fear since the beginning of the show. With paranoia hitting a fever pitch among the former friends, things quickly take a violent turn when Sa Ra stabs Hair Jong in the neck during an argument and is arrested for attempted murder. What's more, Yo Jong discovers that Jae Joon was So Hee's rapist in high school and was the one who got her pregnant before she was pushed from the building by Yeon Jin. Yo Jong also learns that Jae Joon has deleted the crucial recording created by Myung Oh before his death. The series ends dramatically with Jae Joon blinded by poison laced eye drops and pushed into wet cement by a person that is presumed to be Do Young. Young Joon is killed by his former subordinates due to money issues, and Young Jin and her mother, Young Ae, are both arrested for murder. Having successfully brought her enemies to justice, Dong Eun prepares to jump off the same building where So He died. However, she is luckily interrupted by Sung Im, Yo Jong's mother. The series ends with a sneak peek six months later, where we see Dong Eun and Yo Jong playing to infiltrate the prison where Yong Chin, Yo Jong's murderer and Yo Jong's mortal enemy, is being held. As we come to the end, fans still have a million questions. For example, Will Yeon Jin and Yeon Ae take responsibility for their many crimes or will they once again find a way to use their power to free themselves? Will Dong Eun and Yo Jong successfully infiltrate the prison? And so many more. What are some of the questions you have at the end of the drama?